Hello, my name is Oscar Asuncion with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video describes how to check the status of a Communication Server 1000 IP phone within a call server. When troubleshooting IP phone issues, you will typically be required to check the status of the phone within the call server. Log into the call server with admin permissions. The typical method for checking the status of any phone within a call server is to launch the Network and Peripheral Equipment Diagnostic Program, Load32. Enter STAT space the TN in the format of loop, shelf, card, and unit. In this example, we have two IP phones, one with the TN loop 148, shelf 0, card 0, and unit 0, and the other with TN 148, 0, 0, 1. Entering STAT space 148 space 0 space 0 space 0 shows that the phone is in idle state and it is registered to the call server. Entering STAT space 148 space 0 space 0 space 1 shows that the phone is in idle state but it is not registered to the call server. To get more and better status information, exit Load32 and launch the Ethernet and Alarm Management Program Load117. Enter STIP space TN space the TN in the format of loop, shelf, card, and unit. Therefore, in our example, enter STIP space TN space 148 space 0 space 0 space 0. Now we know from load 32 that this IP phone is registered and therefore the resource locator module information shows the model, the call server's TLAN IP address, the signaling IP address, and the codec and bandwidth. Please note that the exact value of a G.711 20 millisecond codec bandwidth usage is 190,400 bits per second or 190.4 kilobits per second. This is represented as 1904 in the info displayed. Now, we also know from load 32 that the IP phone on TN 148 0 0 1 is not registered and therefore when we enter step space TN space 148 space 0 space 0 space 1 we get TN was not found. So use load 32 and load 117 to check the status of your IP phones within the call server when troubleshooting IP phone issues. For more information about other call server troubleshooting commands, please refer to the Avaya Troubleshooting Guide for Distributors. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.